हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू ग्रेड ऑफ इंडिया नंबर वन ट्रस्टेड ब्रांड फॉर ई एस सी गेट एंड पी एस यू टूडे वी विल डिस्कस पावर सप्लाईज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस सेशन ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ब्रांच देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई इंट्रोडक्शन माई सेल्फ संजय राठी आई एम हैविंग अराउंड नाइनटीन ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव क्वालिफाइड एंड सेलेक्टेड फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम्स these are my ranks air 16 in esc 2005 and air 21 in esc 2008 during my 19 years of teaching experience i have mentored more than 1 lakh students for these exams right so already we have discussed some theoretical part today we will discuss some important numericals now this is a vision gate 2022 vision 2022 hindi batch vision 2023 hindi plus english batch For more detail, you can call at this number nine six five double zero five two nine zero four. It is a grade up super subscription. In one subscription, unlimited access to all the courses. This is a Bar twenty twenty one batch. This is called Boost Up course for what electronics, electrical, and mechanical branch enrollment is started. One twenty plus of live classes, sixty plus quizzes, ten plus subjective wise formula notes, mock test. and this is a champion series it is also the part of what champion series 120 days free course for gate if you are interested then sub first of all install what grade up app and attend regular theory classes on app and numerical for numerical you can join our session on what youtube okay daily classes right this is very important for coming exam gate 2022 and these are the faculty members highly qualified and highly experienced ankit sir rakesh sir myself sanjay rathi mn ramesh sir and chandan jha sir this is my telegram channel for pdf and notes you can join my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi now my dear friends this is a regular mock test that is called mega mock challenges on what grade up app please join this session these are very important for you my dear friends already we have discussed what is the power supply we have uh, unregulated power supply and what regulated power supply is it clear and role of what uh, rectifiers then filters and different types of rectifiers half wave rectifier bridge rectifier center tapped full wave center tapped transformer type full wave rectifiers is it clear and what these this will produce what unregulated supply when this supply pass with what voltage regulator we are getting what regulated power supply so some important numericals for theory person please join and see my session on grade up app free of cost right to aap bina koi payment ke aap wahan dekh sakte hain to aap jaiye ga zara now these are the important question consider the following statement a power supply uses a bridge rectifier with capacitor input filter if one of the diode is defective then what will happen if uh, what about the bridge rectifier please uh, everyone give me the answer try for, try for this question in a bridge rectifier there are four diodes right that is the circuit of bridge rectifier there are four diodes out of this four diodes one diode is defected then what will happen here we are giving the input and here we are taking the output that is the floating load floating input that is the d1 that is the d2 that is the d3 and that is the d4 in positive half two diodes are on in negative half remaining two diodes are what on and if one diode is defective then what will happen in the for positive half for example try to understand the concept here let this is the input that is given as the input now if all circuit is perfect circuit is perfect then we are getting the full wave then we are getting the full wave full wave means like this if all the four diodes are what working like this then in that case what is the our uh, vdc value with no capacitor vdc value is 2vm by pi 
and with the capacitor the VDC value is nearly equal to what Vm right and that is the concept. Now if we are using the capacitor filter for example we are using the capacitor filter here parallel with what RL parallel with RL this is what with parallel capacitor capacitor input filter we are connecting capacitor parallel to what RL parallel to RL in positive half the capacitor will charge in negative half again the capacitor will charge so please go through the derivation you will get the complete idea but just I am giving you the idea let that capacitor will charge discharge again it will charge discharge charge discharge this is the one cycle of the input this is the one cycle of the input the capacitor will charge and discharge two times during one cycle of the input okay that is the case if all four diodes are working that will be the case if suppose one diode is defected then what will happen if the one diode is defected then this next half this one one diode is defected it means we are not getting the output forward negative half or positive half let we are not getting the output forward positive half then what will happen now the we are having the only what uh, half that is called half wave therefore the dc value will be less the dc dc is what less as well as capacitor now the capacitor will get more time to discharge again it will charge more time to discharge and it will what charge now so what about the current required to the charge so initially it is required to charge the capacitor from this point to this point not is required from this point to this point so more current is required more current is required to charge the capacitor during a small time so that is the case so what is the answer for this question the dc voltage will be lower than its expected value definitely ripple frequency will be lower than its expected value now what about the ripple frequency ripple frequency ripple frequency for half wave rectifier is f and for full wave rectifier is what 2f for this diagram the ripple frequency is 2f and for this diagram the ripple frequency is what only f means there is reduction in what ripple frequency so that statement is also right the frequency will be lower than the surge current will increases considerably the surge current means the current required to charge the capacitor current required to charge the capacitor no doubt this time the decrease in the voltage across the capacitor is high therefore high current is required to charge the capacitor means 1 2 and 3 all 3 are correct and in a gate exam they will give you what question like what msq multiple selection question msq so you have to get the command over what theory to please watch my lecture on this derivation of what capacitor filter so this type of questions next one next one in a voltage regulator jenna diode is in a voltage regulator everyone please try to give me the answer this is the voltage regulator by using the jenna diode now just i am giving you the unregulated voltage this is the r and here we are connecting the rl we are getting the output here this is the RL. this is called unregulated circuit now here we are connecting the jenna diode means jenna diode is connected in a parallel with rl second thing jenna diode worked in what reverse direction means when it is reverse biased so when it is reverse bias means which answer is correct then connected in series with out forward bias out connected in parallel with filter output circuit filter normally we are connecting the filter here filter i'm just i'm connecting the capacitor filter this is the filter so it is always connected parallel with the filter circuit it is what reverse bias three and four means what b b is the option three and four so that is the right answer for what voltage regulator then next one ripple rejection ratio of the voltage regulator is uh, ripple rejection ratio ripple means what why means what ripple means what ac component at the output so always remember in case of uh, rectifier we are using the transformer then we are using the rectifier 
then we are using what filters then we are using what voltage regulator okay here here we are giving the input so what is the input sinusoidal input first of all you are using the transformer it will step down the signal or step up the signal the term ratio is what n1 is to n2 then it is what rectifier rectifier will make it what unidirectional pulsating dc this is called pulsating dc it has dc plus ac component now the filter will minimize the ac component and that is the it has again ac plus dc component and then voltage regulator will try to make it what straight pure dc signal under ideal condition but again in practical rectifier or practical voltage regulator circuit there is a some some variation and that is called what ripple actually we want to convert the ac into what pure dc signal but always remember at the output there will be a some ac component will present or at the this is the input of the field, uh, voltage regulator and that is the output of the voltage regulator here it has dc component or it has large ac component but here it again it has dc component but the what about the ac component it is minimized it is minimized so what is the ripple rejection there is a rejection of the ripple so re rejection of the ripple so that is the input ripple voltage to what output ripple voltage input ripple voltage to output ripple voltage that is called ripple rejection ratio of the voltage regulator input ripple voltage to what output ripple voltage ripple voltage means ac component okay always remember this ac component we want pure dc signal that is the answer that is the block diagram how the ac signal is converted into what dc uh, after voltage regulator this is called regulated output voltage this is called unregulated voltage unregulated voltage and regulated voltage ideally we are assuming that we are getting the pure dc signal but practically it is not possible practically it is not possible okay then next one a zener regulator has an input voltage varying between 20 and 30 volt okay the desired regulated voltage is 12 volt what is the variation now try to understand the variation 20 to 30 volt is variation try to understand 20 to 30 volt is the variation just we are connecting the circuit 20 to 30 volt is the variation in the input voltage here normally we are connecting rs here rl is connected here we are connecting jenner diode that is the rs and here we are connecting the input and what is the variation in the input 20 to 30 volt minimum maximum and we want the output with 12 volt at this point we want the output should be 12 volt in case of jenner diode for full range of rl and for full range of vi jenner diode should be in breakdown region if it is in a breakdown region then the output is constant that is called regulated voltage that is nothing but vz and what we want the vz 12 volt and that's why the breakdown voltage of the Jenner diode should be equal to what 12 volt the breakdown voltage of the Jenner diode should be equal to what 12 volt okay now while the load varies between 140 m and 10 kilo ohm again the rl is also variable rl is not fixed rl is also a variable the maximum resistance in series with the unregulated source and Jenner diode this is the what should be the value of rs what should be the value of rs and what is the variation in uh, register 140 ohm and 10 kilo ohm and what should be the value maximum value maximum resistance in a series with the regulated what should be the maximum value how to calculate this type of questions always remember in case of voltage regulator there is a, one standard formula just i'm giving you the very basic and standard formula always remember this formula let this is the rs this is the RL variable, this is the Jenner diode, this is the V0. Once it is breakdown, the voltage across this will remain fixed, that is the RS, and this is the VI. 
now here the current is i this current is divided into two parts iz and il iz and il so what is the i is equal to vi minus vz upon rs vi minus vz upon rs now this i is divided into two parts iz plus what il iz plus il and from this we can say iz is equal to what i minus il i minus il now always remember if the jenner diode is in breakdown then the minimum jenner diode current that is called knee current under ideal conditions should be what zero it means the current through the minimum jenner diode current through the diode uh, through the breakdown diode should be greater than or equal to what zero that is called knee current so what is the minimum current the minimum jenner diode current i z minimum apply the aptitude is given by when i is minimum and i l is maximum and this current should be greater than or equal to what i z k i z k is the knee current or minimum jenner diode current required for the breakdown uh, normally they will mention the value in question but if it is not mentioned always remember always remember that is what ideal value is what zero ideally i z k is zero i z k is equal to what zero now what is the i minimum that i z minimum is equal to i minimum i minimum is what i is equal to v i minus v z by r s so v i is variable v z is constant r s is constant so we can say v i minimum minus v z upon r s what is the il maximum what is the maximum current through this load rl this is a variable if we want the maximum current always remember il is equal to what vz by rl or that is v not by rl so il maximum means what rl minimum so we can write vz upon rl minimum it should be greater than or equal to what zero it should be greater than or equal to what Zero. We are having the value of VI minimum. What is the VI minimum? It varies from twenty to thirty. Twenty. VZ. The Jenner diode breakdown voltage should be equal to what twelve volt because we want the twelve volt at the output minus twelve. We want the value of RS minus twelve. What is the minimum value of RL minimum? One forty ohm. One forty ohm. Is it clear? and this is all the answers are in what ohm all the answers are in ohm so you can also use this is in a volt if suppose you are using in volt you will get the answer in what ohm 140 ohm directly you can use the 140 ohm it should be greater than or equal to what zero then my dear friend this will become 8 by rs that should be greater than 12 divided by 140 and then rs should be less than or equal to please check my calculation rs should be less than or equal to 8 into 140 divided by what 12 8 into 140 divided by what 12 and that will be the answer if you have the calculator then you can get the value of this maximum means what equal to maximum means what equal to 93.33 ohm 93.33 ohm that is the answer is d the maximum value is less than or equal to equal to is what maximum value uh, it should be what less than 93.3 ohm and that is the way how to solve the question on what voltage regulator always remember this one is the most important formula this one is the most important formula and how to find this this is the formula under ideal condition izk is zero otherwise in particular numerical they will give you the reading this is the reading of the zener diode okay for this type of questions if you want to solve number of questions stay tuned with us on your favorite youtube channel that is grade up gate right as well as for hindi stay tuned with us on what grade up gate and ese champion grade up gate and ese champion and simply uh in a grade up gate channel we will provide you the content in english only and in what hindi channel that is grade up gate and esc champions we will provide you the content in what hindi no doubt technical things always in what english don't worry about that 
okay then so that is about what voltage regulator and so on how to solve the questions on the voltage regulator right now that is my telegram channel if you want the pdf of this class then you can join my telegram channel that is the electronics by sanjay rati for daily dose to improve the concept for daily important questions for latest information for notification of the class important pdf and notes doubt clearing sessions by the expert each and everything on my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rati okay then second thing grade up super in one subscription unlimited access to all the courses structure live courses and you will get the access to our green card grade up super means simply unlimited access to all the structure live courses download the grade up app for systematic preparation for what gate 2022 join our champion series free of cost on grade up app तो जाते जाते एक बार लाइक सब्सक्राइब और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा अपने दोस्तों के साथ ओ ग्रैन गुड डे थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग द सेशन जय हिंद जय भारत थैंक यू